Now I'll throw it to you. Go. Okay. Well, uh, we are here. Uh, and back by popular demand, we have our second installment of Who Wants to Be a Bitcoin Millionaire, baby? Woo. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, in the hot seat, we have uh, our very good friend of the show, uh, John, from that minute. How are you, John? Hey. I'm good. I'm good. I am mostly very excited that the American uh, theme song is oh, the that, same that, as our one thing. for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And it was the super extended yeah, version. I, that's a th- I remember <laughs> seeing a documentary yeah. on the making of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Apparently, it was like it was done to a science of like they found Ooh. imagery and sounds and stuff that would appeal to every nation. They okay. actually went out and like found things that like you never have to change this format. It's perfect everywhere exactly well, no, the it way is, it is because obviously i i used to i mean the listeners might not know this i used to live in pakistan and in pakistan they didn't have their own version but you'd get the indian one mm. corn benegra Kropati, and mm. it's exactly the same exactly yeah, the same yeah. and the questions are even in english at the bottom wow <laughs> no, I think it's, it's just yeah some people would be quite cynical about it but it is just like this is corporate synergy in an international level where it's just like yes it's designed to suck in everyone. Yeah, and the key word there is suck, because I am here today to just be <laughs> the biggest sucker that ever sucked. God damn it. I'm going to lose. Was, it, was well, that the disco version mix that we were playing for the introduction? No, the, I, I, if, you go, if you go on YouTube, there's like a one hour version. Apparently, I just chimmed like two minutes off it. <laughs> oh, jeez. So. Well, John, um, uh, you know, in case you want to suck a little less, uh, you do have uh, a couple of lifelines that you can use at your disposal. You have your classic 50 50. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have your uh, phone a friend. Who is that? And you by also by. have uh, Blake. Are we doing the the infinity one again? No, we have we have um instead of a, a ask the host or ask the audience, we have um, Mark as your as that. Because he's our audience here for the show, and we have Niall here, okay, and he okay. could be your okay. smartest, your smartest man, person you know, as they say on the celebrity version. So that's why Niall's here. <laughs> but, that's fine as you, but is Niall a lifeline, or can I ask him anytime? Ask like, him anything. As many times. Get past the thirty-two thousand dollars question. <laughs> okay. I'll, this will be a very English thing, very English reference, but I'll just cough, John, every time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the <answer> to- <laughs> oh, how do we explain this? How do we explain this? There was basically someone got found out on our version of the show. He was cheating. I think he was well, he was the first guy to to win, wasn't he? He was the first guy to actually the first, win the whole thing. But he was he was one of the early ones. Yeah. And there was someone in the audience and they, they discovered that like every time the right answer was read out, he would like cough. Like somehow he had the answers. He's like <laughs> Yeah. They made a they made a TV show about it last year with like Michael yeah, yeah. Sheen and stuff. It was like a big, wow. big thing. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, it was huge. So no, now Google that. Google everything and cough, please. Yeah. Uh, it was Major <laughs> Charles Ingram is what I think you called the guy if anyone wants to look it up. But like, yeah, massive scandal. They pulled that out. And they're worried about <laughs> they're, 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 they're like general trivia on our game board. That's what they're worried about. Now. How funny yeah. is that? Like, <laughs> oh, God. The yeah, questions yeah. I'm going to get asked. To I'm not going to know any of them. <laughs> funny to be like, you're worried about general trivia knowledge on our show and you're like pulling out random movies we've never heard of. <laughs> you know <what> I'm just saying? <laughs> this is the problem i know random crap but i don't know useful things <laughs> <laughs> that's because this show is useful knowledge that's what this show is <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. all right sal when you're ready i'll hit the first i'll hit the music and the first question when you're all right ready, blake we're ready to go yep we are when we are of course yeah, let's go. <laughs> what musical was not based on a Broadway show first? And your answers are Rent, West Side Story, Greatest Showman, or The Lion King. This seems too obvious to me. I mean, I know all about Rent. 
I know all about West Side Story. I don't know much about The Greatest Showman, but I know, you know, The Lion King was a goddamn animated musical first and then a Broadway show second. So it's got to be The Lion King, right? Uh, uh, Lion King, is that your is that your final answer? Well, Lion King was a movie first. Nile, what right. do you say? That's so mov- mov- movie first, then Broadway. Yes, think of the wording of the question, John. <laughs> Musical was not based. based on a Broadway show first. Right, first. So yeah. Well, not on Broadway first. <laughs> yeah. The Lion King Literally wasn't on there first. It was a movie first. Oh, shit, you're right. I really that wrong. I worded that wrong. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you've written it right. Written I, I, it right. Ah, there you oh, go. You know, yeah, you know what, Blake? That, you are. I mean, there's two. Got you. <laughs> got you. Got you. It, it, it's that creator. That one's creator on error. <laughs> that one's on me. Uh, there's I'll two give, answers. All right, yeah, we'll give it to you. All right, I'll give it to you because that was on my fault. That was my yeah. fault. Yeah. And, and <laughs> if, if, you re- if you take it as written, I'm right. You are right. Yes. <laughs> right. I, I, I'll give you that. Ah, yeah. You know what? We'll give you a Sheba coin for that, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So 200 Bitcoin dollars. What Arrowverse star wrestled matches in WWE, ROH, and at All In, and was a member of the Bullet Club? Right. Okay. Oh, oh. I mean, I know. Boom, boom. Stephen Amell bum, bum. has wrestled okay. for WWE. Bum, okay. Bum. I don't uh, bum, bum. think any of the others have. I know Ruby Rose hasn't been in WWE, has she? Bum, she bum. should be. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. That'd be re- really, really good. Uh, she, yeah, she could stick around longer than Ronda Rousey did anyway. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn. That still annoys me. She could have been She could have been cool. Well, you know. All right. Uh, it's got to be Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell, final answer? Yeah, yeah. There you go. And for those who want to know, Stephen Amell obviously wrestled in WWE at SummerSlam, teaming with Neville. He also had a Ring of Honor match as a member of the Bullet Club. And, of course, he was at All In against Christopher Daniels. So there you go. Sometimes we forget who's been in the Bullet Club. I mean, Jeff Jarrett was for a bit, wasn't he? uh, Yeah, unfortunately. (laughs) Go ahead, (laughs) Yeah, for a hot minute. Yeah, that that con man who tried to sell people a pyramid scheme of gold, yeah. (laughs) All right. For 300 Bitcoin dollars, who was the first NXT champion? We have Seth Rollins, Biggie Langston, Corey Graves, Ginger Mahal. Ginger Mahal. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Which we know that these not things... the answer for my reaction. <laughs> Are we playing Sesame Street? Which one of these things don't belong with the others? Well, Is that when, it? I say, when I tell you the actual answer, you're going to crack up laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Sal, I mean, Sal is correct. Sal is correct, by the way. So just continue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, now, I know... I don't think Corey Graves was ever the champion. He was a tag team champion with Neville, Adrian Neville. Um, it's Seth Rollins is the first one, isn't he? It's is Seth, Seth Rollins. Rollins it's the final answer. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is the final answer. Okay, let's find out. Ah, there you go. By the go. way, because of the reaction, Seth Rollins actually beat Jinder Mahal in the final. So. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was thinking. Oh, I Jim forgot about that. There, actually. Yeah. I, and you know what? I have to thank the guys over eight years back for bringing it back to my brain. And it's actually when I wrote that down. <laughs> it was the city eight oh, years back. And, and this is the era when this is the era when Big E would pin people for five seconds, too. Yeah, right? Big E was the second champion, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Throw that out there. All right. Yeah. And Co- did Corey never had it, did he? He was the tag, oh, was tag champion. No. <laughs> yep. Okay, now for your uh, uh, for the final level of this round, oh, it goes this up, is up so... to a thousand. It goes to a thousand. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. Uh, forget that. Scratch that. Oh, cool. uh, for five hundred Bitcoin dollars, who wrestled in the most WrestleMania main events? Hulk Hogan, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Shawn Michaels. Oh no, this boom, boom. this is genuinely quite a hard one, because the obvious answer would say Hulk Hogan, but that seems too obvious. But is it? Go with your gut, John. Go with your gut. (laughs) Dun, 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 dun. But is it obvious? See, now I'm getting mixed signals here. (laughs) Um, It's definitely not Michaels. It can't be Roman Reigns. It can't be. 
but John Cena could possibly be a contender for this. Um, I think the two words you want to focus on is main event. That's true. That's exactly what you want to focus on. <laughs> yeah, it, it's got to be Hogan. That, I'm thinking. Is Hogan, your final answer. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, yes, I'm going with Hulk Hogan. I'm going with it. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Yes. Ah, yeah. there you go. Very so, th- good. John Cena's I, had a lot of main events, though. He's, I, I, he's been I, on the go longer than people think. I yeah. did the research on this, though. Hogan with eight main events. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. <laughs> what are you playing the lottery there, or what? Cena, <laughs> Cena Roman, and HBK have all main evented five times. So there you go. <laughs> Oh, I thought Michaels was actually less. I'm surprised. It was 12, yeah. 14. Everyone forgets he made the event in 20 because they don't want to talk about that main event anymore. Um, 23 against Cena <laughs> and 26 is retirement match. So there you uh, go. Yeah, yeah. And and um, Hogan, though, I was surprised that when you listed them that the one with uh, The Rock wasn't. No, it wasn't the main uh, event. That was Triple H and Jericho. So there you go. I'd rather, I mean, that The Rock and Hogan was a much better match. Like, I, 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 there's nothing, you know, nothing against those guys. But... Been 18 wise. <laughs> I, I know, but it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so, Are you saying <laughs> yes, the, the Rock, the Rock and Hogan match was better than Vince versus God? <laughs> That's different. That's a different thing. Uh, yep. <laughs> what about the giant Gonzalez? Wasn't he on a match? <laughs> he was the taker. He was taker. <laughs> Uh, Giant Gonzalez should have made event. Five minutes. All right, Sal. Uh, go to that question. <laughs> okay, now the final question of this uh, round. Oh my God! Uh, One thousand Bitcoin dollars. Which of the following Disney theme parks opens first? Oh. Tokyo Disney, Disneyland Paris, Hong Kong Disneyland, or Shanghai Disney? Right. This is this is where I have to speak to Niall. What What are you thinking? I'm leaning towards something. You're leading to um. I'm thinking. I, I want to say the Tokyo Disney. Oh, okay. But um, Disneyland Paris would be my gut instinct as well because it's yep. like that's the one I know because it's right across the water from where we are. It could be that that we can get there in about five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of I almost considered those were there were only really were two Disneylands. It was like oh, there's Disneyland in America and there's Disneyland Paris. So. Oh. Um, well, it's definitely not Shanghai because yes. obviously China is, uh, you know, it, taking slower steps to to sort of open up to uh, foreign businesses and things. <laughs> so it's definitely not that. Hong Kong, of course, was British until 1997. So it's possible. But it, I think it's Tokyo or, or Paris, right? Is that what? So we, so I think we have, to, have to give one though, don't we? <laughs> we can't just be like, yeah, yeah, oh, no. this is one of those. You know? <laughs> one, one of don't those mess two. up on this one. <laughs> Trust me, this one has one answer. <laughs> we, 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 Mansoor. Uh, 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 yeah, I mean, I like, I'm. You always say, go with your gut. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, my gut is saying Paris. It's it's between these two, and it's almost definitely got to be Paris. I would yeah, think. Yeah, I'm, 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 I would put, I would say Paris too. Yeah, I think that's yeah. the, the safer option. Okay, we're going with Paris, even though we know next to nothing about Disneyland. <laughs> well, oh, as God. Blake would say, trust your gut, but I'm going to say don't trust your gut. So is that your final oh, answer? God. <laughs> Tokyo. Tokyo is definitely oh, the one. Don't, don't okay, so is Tokyo line. your final answer? No. <laughs> no. Uh uh, I started to excel to my facial expressions in the window over here. <laughs> I'm trying not to look uh, and cheat, you know. Um, I'm still, I don't know. I don't care who's cheating. I'm the host. <laughs> but I don't trust you. I don't trust you on this uh, special July 4th. <laughs> <laughs> I have a terrible poker face, so. <laughs> poker face. Yeah. Although, little known... I say little known fact. Everyone probably knows it now. The second time she says poker face, she's not saying poker face. She's being very explicit. And she's okay, slipped it in. So to speak. <laughs> Guys, what are you um, oh, Poker face? Uh, it's, it's worse than that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
you talk to say on the podcast if you lost the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um right now, let's make a decision. Paris, do you think, or Tokyo? Um I think I'm, Paris. I'm, 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 go go with Paris then. Go go with um I would I would we... say I don't know, I had some vague like imagery of like, oh yes, there being like a, a massive corporate event where Tokyo it, you know finally opened its own Disneyland in the mid eighties or something like so that. It could be Tokyo. It could yeah. be Tokyo. It might be. <laughs> yeah. So I think You know what, yeah. right? No, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna take a risk. Because Paris is so obvious, I'm gonna say Tokyo. Is Tokyo Disney your final answer? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, so, there you go. Let me explain this. Tokyo Disney Resort opened in 1983. <laughs> Disneyland Although Paris, Disneyland Paris wasn't called that initially. Exactly. Know. Disneyland Paris, Euro Disney Resort opened in 1992. So, because oh. <laughs> actually, I'm not okay, going to lie. That's I a big question, difference. I looked it up because I thought it was Disneyland Paris as well. I actually thought it was too. So, I looked it up and I was wrong when I first mm. looked up the thing. So, there you go. Well, okay, so it seems like the obvious answer. Did, so that's why I did, did Hong Kong open after that? It went Hong Kong and then Shanghai. I knew Shanghai would last because yeah. um that was the first park that um Bob Iger was there for the opening. So I knew that was last. <laughs> that's in his book. Ah. Too, so that's in his book. So that one I knew for a fact. And that five. makes sense because China Well, China wouldn't want American businesses in like you know in the eighties or nineties. Exactly. So, so. Yeah. There you go. So let's move on. Hey, we see we reasoned it, Nile. <laughs> hey, now Keep we got some mind, dramatic John, music. Now the, the Bitcoin dollar amounts are higher. Yes, yes. and you still have higher. all your lifelines, which is good to know. <laughs> because oh my uh, god, yeah, because it's gonna get tougher. Oh my god, because <laughs> I did not expect. All that to go down in the last first five questions. I really did not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is me and Niall you've got on the show. We're renowned for just going on and on and on. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm glad that the musical better have for the next, like, a bunch of questions. It's a hell of a lot longer than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sal, when you're ready, we can continue on. Yeah, let's go for it. For 2,000 Bitcoin dollars. Yes. So. What was the only big four WWE pay per view to take place outside of America? Ooh, okay. And obviously, if you're a wrestling fan, you know yeah. the big four. Okay. Oh, and there's the. Hey, answer. hey, wow. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, go back. Go back. Go back. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think I know this one. Okay. Yeah. I think <laughs> you know what? I do know Who's this question? one. Anyway, Sal, to make it official. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, Summer Slam. Survivor Series. <laughs> Even if I can press the button, it, I know I know John was going to know this, so you're fine. It's Survivor Series. No, 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 no. It's a, it's got to be SummerSlam because that's the one that was at Wembley, right? Right, exactly. I, I, and I had that. I remember vividly the day my dad's friend came to me because I wasn't actually living in England at the time. I was living in Cyprus. Uh-huh. And my dad's friend brought me the VHS. Like, they oh. did one in the UK. Oh, my God. Like, look. <laughs> And it, I watched that on loop a million times because I was so excited. That's, yeah, that's the one where D Boy won over a Brett, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was so obsessed with the British Bulldog just because, hey, there's an English guy. And, and not only was he an English guy, he had a proper English accent. He wasn't like posh. <laughs> he wasn't from London. He's from Manchester. <laughs> there you go. I didn't know that there was unposh Englishmen. You don't yeah, know, you yeah. know English. <laughs> Uh, all right okay for four thousand bitcoin dollars what mcu film is the earliest in chronological order is it iron man captain america the first avenger captain marvel or the incredible hulk right nile i'm gonna bounce this off you it's got to be captain america right well, that's that's the, you're talking about in chronological order of like the storyline of yeah, the MCU. Storyline, yes. Timeline, yes. Yeah. Oh, within the storyline, then it's Captain America. Yeah, because yeah, that's set during the war. Yeah. Whereas yeah. the others, I mean, Captain Marvel is eighties, nine. Yeah, nineties. Then it'll 90s. be Iron Man. Then it'll be Hulk. Then it'll be Hulk. So yeah, we're going with uh, Captain America: The First Avenger. That's your final answer. Yes. 
Oh, very good. Whenever you ask, is that your final answer? Just like on the real show, I get scared. Yes. <laughs> so, by the way, so Captain America, obviously, 1943, and then Captain Marvel, 1995. So there you go. 95? Oh, whoa, 95. okay. It's even 90. I know it's the 90s because of all the blockbuster jokes. So oh, I, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stan Lee uh, reading the, the script for Mallrats as yes, well, which you would know that's, about, that's, I guess, as well. Like, so. Cameos ever, by the way. Well, <laughs> that was you, cool. Blockbuster and Radio Shack. Where else can you go wrong? Yes. <laughs> All right. This is um. This should be interesting. Okay, moving up the ladder for eight thousand Bitcoin dollars. What was the first film to win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature? Was it Lilo and Stitch, Monsters Inc., Shrek, or Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius? Right. Okay, Nile. Lilo and Stitch has not won an Academy Award, right? So I'm, I'm looking at all of them. I was like, did any of these win the Academy well, Awards? Well, I, I don't know. Monsters Inc. or Shrek, I think, are contenders. Lilo and Stitch is my favorite, but I don't mm. think it won. I know I was thinking Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron would be the earliest, but I was like, well, that, would that have, well, then that could be the, the, the shocker thing. It's like, oh, yeah, that year, the animation category was quite poor. So Jimmy Neutron actually won. Um, it's possible. It's possible. I, I think one of the other two is more likely mm. um oh god this is tough did shrek win best animated film though what do you think um i think it might i think it did actually yeah i think it was it was, it was a big deal shrek when it came out so it was it was yeah. um oh this is a tough one do you think we should use a lifeline or should we guess um, Ooh. maybe a 50 50, <clears throat> but then we're gonna end up with bloody Shrek and Jimmy Neutron, aren't we? You <laughs> <laughs> might even also ask Mark, he's sitting here, he has a lifeline. That's true. And does that use my lifeline like it's gone? Yes, okay. Um, no, let's reason it, let's reason it. We, we want to keep these lifelines, mm. so um. No, I don't know. I don't know. Should, should we ask Mark? <laughs> yeah, yes. I say. I, I, I don't feel confident enough. I would be like, well, I, I, I think Lilo and Stitch is the earliest of them there. So mm. my gut would. But be I like, don't think it won. I think I, I think, think it might be Shrek, but I'm not. As, as Blake would say, yeah, I think even Monster Inc. Yeah, ask Mark. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's the title. Of yeah, that but I don't trust Sal. Sal. <laughs> is that the title for our wonderful episode for today? <laughs> Trust your gut. Oh, um. What do you reckon now? Should we take a punt or should we? Yeah, I say take a punt. I think it's a. Uh, and then. You think take a punt on Shrek? And then you can just sell. Oh, so there we go. That's <laughs> true. I can get the Bitcoin back that way. That's right. <laughs> So let me think. Lilo and Stitch, no. Monsters, Inc., I think possible. Shrek, I think possible. Jimmy Neutron, I think no, you think yes. Yeah, I think I could be like a dark horse, like, oh, you would never, you would never suspect it, but it actually did, kind of thing. It, it, give you, give you a hint, keep in mind, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, was uh, about me and when I was a kid. No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind um, of people like how the laughing show <laughs> <laughs> okay okay let me let me think I, I I'm racking my brain and I'm thinking of dates I'm thinking of dates like what movie came first I think as far as I know Lilo and Stitch was I want to say that's like 98 or 99 or thereabouts maybe 2000 Shrek Monsters Inc I'm pretty sure it's 2001 Shrek's like 2004-ish, maybe, um, or 2002, thereabouts. Uh, and then Jimmy Neutron. I, I always associate Jimmy Neutron as being like a mid-90s thing. Um, no, I so. don't know. I think it came out around the same time as Shrek. You know, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what you suggested now. I'm going to take a punt. I'm going to say Shrek right. is the answer. Because it's Shrek got, it's the final got answer. Be, Shrek is the final answer. It's got to be Shrek. Oh, there you Yay. go. Yay. Yay. Very <laughs> good. And you saved your See, lifeline. That's oh, what happens when you listen to your gut. Yeah, so, yeah. 
you got to trust question. yourself sometimes. The 74th Academy Award, the nominations were Shrek, Jimmy Neutron, and Monster Inc. <laughs> oh, 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 crap. Okay. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. So Shrek beat, beat Monster Inc. Yeah, Holy exactly. moly, what? And Lilo and Stitch was nominated the next year and did not win. So just to clarify. Oh, that. I was even like that. I thought Lilo and Stitch was first. Oh man, that was a barometer, and that was way off. Then yeah. I would have said Lilo and Stitch was first, and Rack came out. Lilo and Stitch is my favorite. Yeah, Rack came out in two thousand one. So, <laughs> can I be controversial and say that I think Lilo and Stitch is possibly my favorite Disney film? You're not wrong with that. Lilo and Stitch is a great movie. Lilo and Stitch is a great yeah. movie. As in fact, mm-hmm. um, Mandy, one of Mandy's favorite characters is Stitch. So you're fine. Yes. So there you go. Hell yeah. He yeah, had he's a, got an important message about Ohana. Ohana. And we, Ohana. Yep. Mandy got, um, it was wearing a stitch shirt in ears during our trip. So there you go. Hey. So, okay. all right. We, we're lucky. <laughs> all right. Moving up the ladder here 16,000 Bitcoin dollars. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> what Sunday night football personality did Disney trade to NBC Universal <gasps> for the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Oh, oh, you're on your own, John. Oh, Jesus. Right. I'm <laughs> immediately going to say... Captain, Captain. I'm immediately saying Ask Mark. Okay. You want to use oh, your life? Boy. Oh, no. Come on. You need to... <laughs> I have no idea. You know, we, we get yeah. next to nothing of this over here. Occasionally, yeah. you yeah. might see the Super Bowl, possibly, if you stay up till four in the It'll morning. It'll be a miracle if you get this right. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can I? That was my hint for the person I, questions. <laughs> can I consult El Google? <laughs> uh, Dad, Dad, as yeah. a sports fan, I literally just gave you the answer, and you were not listening. <laughs> oh <laughs> God, damn it! <laughs> you said watch well, stay up late after midnight. No, I did not say that. I said that it would be a miracle if they got this right. Think, think. That miracle. must mean something. Miracle. Miracle. <laughs> miracle. You know, you know oh, can, can I, can I just big say. Big angle. Oh, can I just no say, way. Okay. No, can I just say. I'm giving you the answer. <laughs> can I just say yes. that Shawn Michaels' brother would say <laughs> it's a miracle. Not really his brother, but it's your point. <laughs> Wasn't there wasn't there a movie named uh, called Miracle coming to an Entertainment Apex in February? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the tip of the plug. And, 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 and of course, of course, in some regions, Divex. Okay, so Dad, you do, you do know the answer. Trust me, you know the answer. Please. Correct. I know the answer. What is the answer? The answer would be the ever loving. L. Michaels, the heartbreak kid. <laughs> no, actually, it's his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> the heartbreak cuz. There you go. All right. So, let's talk back to you. <laughs> okay, so Dad says Al Michaels is the answer. Do Go you accept that. that answer, or do you want to change it? I accept it. I I know nothing about this. I've heard of like two American football players, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'm going with it. Okay. Let's find out. And yeah. there you go. Woo, woo, Al Michaels. So that was that is a legit thing that happened. That Disney yeah. wanted back Oswald the Lucky Rabbit so they could put him in Disneyland in the in, in Disneyland. So they traded them Al Michaels to do Sunday night football. That is a legit thing that happened. <laughs> That's insane. Like I think our sports are weird. Jesus. <laughs> that legitimately happened. And now Al Michaels does Sunday night football and the Olympics because of that trade. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a joke, and I read it like this is really happy. <laughs> I, I did. I did hear that this is the year that Al Michaels is retiring. I've heard that like seventeen different times in his career, so I believe that when I see it, <laughs> he's like the Elton John of retiring. He's, he's just, just never going to go away. Of, um, he's the Terry Funk of retiring. Or, or, yeah, but does would, he would still you consider him more like Diva, like like Cher, or more like Elton? <laughs> well, Elton. Also, his retirement tour got postponed due to pandemics. I can't really get on him for that one. So, yeah. like, <laughs> and Elton's retirement tour is now happening because there's a there's a big poster advertising oh, in, in Liverpool City Center. Center. So, Actually, yeah, because the tickets just went on sale for MetLife Stadium over here, in Jersey. Ah. 
I like the well, way that you, you, you phrase that though of like oh because of the pandemic elton's retirement couldn't happen it's like oh yes now the universe has manifested a virus uh, to stop <laughs> elton john from quitting right. music now are we ready to move on uh yeah let's go to the final question of this uh this 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 round i guess you want to call it so for almost one bitcoin for thirty two thousand bitcoin dollars who was the mascot of the wb television network was it Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Michigan J Frog, or Buster Bunny? Right. Niall, you're big on Warner Brothers properties. Yeah. What, um, what are your first instincts? With, with before that? the answers came up, I was thinking Mich Michigan J Frog. Oh, that's the only one I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's the hello, my baby. Hello, the little frog that would like every oh, my right time hand, the guy, like, everybody looked at it, he wouldn't do anything. And then <laughs> yeah, you know, it was just him and one other guy who would put on a top hat and do like a little yeah, hey. in the top hat. Yeah, the frog. Yeah, but I, I do recall, like, we don't get the WB over here, but I do recall seeing like through just random bits and bobs, they would always have that little frog beside the, the shield and stuff on TV. So, oh, my instinct says, frog. Michigan okay, frog. yeah, okay. Um, well, let's let's try and narrow it down. Who could it not be? It's not Daffy Duck. Yeah, it won't be. It's not because Daffy is the eternal underdog. Yeah, of, it's uh, not Buster Bunny. Bunny. Buster Bunny is nowhere near as popular. Bugs, I think, is like he used to be on front of like all the children's Warner Brothers films. Mm. Like you know, even like some of the, the the Batman animated movies, you'll get like the Warner Brothers shield and have Buster or not Buster Bugs Bunny on it. But I'm pretty sure for the television, it was the Frog. Yeah, I'm racking my brain here. I'm trying to think like uh, Yeah, I think I think I've seen the frog on the TV stuff more. So I'm le yeah, I'm going to say yeah, I'm going to say is it Michigan or Mi Yeah. So Michigan. is MJF your <laughs> oh, final answer? Oh my god, answer. it's MJF by his cryptocurrency. <laughs> Yeah. Let's reveal the answer. Yes! Oh, there yeah. you go. Because he's better than you. And you. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a funny one. That was one. very nice. Like, Michigan J. Frog, it's one of those things that nobody remembers if you didn't watch the CW back in the day. <laughs> it never made any sense at the time. Like, it made no sense at the that's time. Why, that's why I need Niall. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was one of the weirdest like things I've ever seen. A Mission J Frog being the promoter for the WB. <laughs> no sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Man. Here's the thing that people may or may not know is when they basically had to take the older Bugs Bunny cartoons out that were a little violent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They basically edit out the violent parts. Ducks so rap. kids wouldn't like <laughs> pick up sledgehammers and hit their brothers and sisters over the head. It makes me mad that Ducks and Rabbit season can no longer be aired. It doesn't matter. I, I love that. <laughs> Why is it? Is that too violent? Yes, apparently shooting ducks, shooting Daffy and and bugs in the head, duck, Daffy in the head all multiple times <laughs> is a bad thing. Apparently, I didn't know that as a kid. Apparently, it's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Well, you know what? There is something to be said for that because as much as these things say, "Don't try this at home," you know, when I was a teenager, me and my friends would wrestle, <laughs> like, and we didn't have tables, so we set up cardboard boxes, and I like gave my friend a fisherman suplex through the cardboard boxes. You know? <laughs> Oh, I also know too, John. I remember last week you said to me like, "Oh, you'd see." So I was seeing advertisements for Space Jam Two, and like, yeah, this yeah. week every every single time I go out now, like a freaking crowbar to the it, face. Ridiculous everywhere. Space Jam, a new All legacy right. everywhere. Right, now. Yeah, we we'll move on. Let's move on. <laughs> We've hit the final stretch of oh this God. shitastic show. <laughs> okay, you so actually you, you gain a lifeline. Yeah, oh, I'll, gained a lifeline. Well, you oh, you gained a lifeline? You lose What's that. This one? You lose wow. that. But now Niall is a lifeline if you need him. He is no longer. Oh, a oh, oh so I can't just question. ask him whenever I want now. Right. Okay. That is how it works here. But also keep in mind, you still have your phone or friend and 50 50. As a matter of okay. fact, your phone or friend happens to be sitting at the table here, so I can always hand you the microphone if needed. So they. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need him now. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is where, this is where the fun starts. <laughs> All right, so when you're ready, I will hit the button. And we'll do I am ready to go. All right. Or for potentially two Bitcoins, $64,000 in Bitcoin, who is the only pro wrestler to win the WWE, NWA, TNA, and IWGP World Heavyweight Championships? <gasps> wow, I said that in one breath. Kurt Angle, 
AJ Styles, Sting, Jeff Jarrett. Oh God! Oh, oh, okay. A lot of these are contenders because, well, it, can I ask a question? I don't know if you're allowed to answer this. Yeah. Does when it says NWA, is it including when it was NWA TNA? Yes. Yes. It is including. That's exactly crap. how I looked at it. <laughs> that complicates matters somewhat. Particularly because it's kind of obvious when you think about it. <laughs> it probably is really obvious, but this is the problem. It, oh, right. Niall won't know. So there's no, no point. No, I am. No think point. of. <laughs> think like you've gained that lifeline, but. <laughs> think of the IWGP part of the question. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know AJ Styles enough. has won IWGP. I know that. Okay. I do not think Sting or Jarrett have won it. I'm You're probably sure, right. I'm pretty sure Angle. Did he win it? He, he competed for it. Um, Styles has won all of them. Surely, okay. Surely he's won all, all right. of them. Okay. Right. Yo. <laughs> Are you going to fire your gun on that one? Uh, Angle could have. Hmm. I'm going to... I think AJ Styles is probably the answer. He's definitely won all of them. Whereas Angle, I think, might not have won. I don't think he won it when it was the NWA TNA. So I'm going to say AJ Styles. Final answer? Yes. Yes! All Very right. good. AJ Styles <laughs> is a two-time WWE champion, three-time NWA, comma, TNA champion, a two-time NW TNA champion, a two-time IWGP champion. And to follow up, Sting and Jarrett never won the WWE championship, but automatically they're out of this. Yeah. And Kurt Angle, four-time WWE, six-time TNA, one-time IWGP. But not NWA. Yes, not NWA. Yes, not NWA. Because mm -hmm. he, he was in TNA when it had separated, right? Correct. After he came in after it was just TNA. So there you go. Cool. So there you go. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, nice. Now, now that was See? smart thinking right there, John. It really was. You've, you've <laughs> got to do that. You've got to break it down and think about these things. <laughs> That's right. All right. So let's continue on. <laughs> For 125,000 Bitcoin dollars, who is the first person to win an Academy Award and a Golden Raspberry Award in the same year? Oh, God. <clears throat> okay, okay. Sandra Bullock, Ali Lincoln, Ali Berry, Brian Hicklin. Right, I'm going to use a lifeline. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to Niall. Okay. okay. Do we get to have a full back and forth? Of you course. Can, you, can, okay. you, can, okay. you have an answer. You've been doing it all day. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know if you if it's like, no, Niall can now only answer. We're not doing timers because I didn't have time to find those. So you're fine. Uh, right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Niall, I, I I'm waiting to... Go ahead. How much oh. time are we allowing now? No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. There's no Niall. time. Do you not okay. know them? Do you not know them? <laughs> I'm leaning towards two answers. Mm. Uh, what are you leaning towards? I don't want to influence you. See, my gut instinct uh, is Halle Berry. That's one because of mine, it's yeah. it's yeah because I think it was the same. It was like Monsters Ball and Catwoman in the same yeah. year, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, the only other possibility to me is Sandra Bullock. Hmm. But then would that be would that be four though? That'd be like that'd be like Speed Two Cruise Control and <laughs> what though is the thing? <laughs> like she must have been nominated, right? <laughs> I'm sure she was nominated at at some point in her career, but. Um, see, and then the other two, the cops, like, oh, but that's because it's just like, well, Halle Berry strikes me as like, oh, that's like, yeah, I, I remember her famously doing the two speeches, like, she came out and yep, accepted yep. both. Um, but then, because like, because that's so famous, that might make it too obvious an answer. Like, we're like, oh, I was Alan Lincoln or Andrew something like that, but <laughs> yeah, that's the problem first. So, maybe that's the problem. Maybe we need to think outside of the box. Mm. Who could have been first? Now, Sandra Bullock and Halle Berry might have been later than the other two. I don't know yeah. too much work of the other two. It's very possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. be, uh, yeah, I would take a shot at, like, what, like, yeah, maybe like Alan Menken or something, because I'd be like, well, yeah, because it, it could be like for like worst lighting or something like yeah. that. Uh, you never oh, know. What that's the, a good point. Yeah, it could be for like something that you just wouldn't expect. That is an excellent point. Music. 
It's oh, very good. I, yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking yeah. you know, your phone a friend would like to take a nap and like to know if you can vote Bezzy at any time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are you leading towards Alan Menken? Yeah, I was like one of those two guys, I would say. But yeah, Alan Menken, something in, inside me is like, yes, that's the name to go for. But okay but then okay. i can't I, I, I have nothing i have nothing palatable to back that up with i'm i'm gonna trust you and if you're wrong then i'm quitting bat minute oh, <laughs> oh, oh there's a lot riding oh, on this question, question, question. <laughs> so alan menken i i'm leaning towards it because that's one name i know i don't really know the other one and maybe sandra bullock and Halle berry are the obvious answers so I'm trusting you, Niall. Alan Menken. I'm going with it. Final uh, answer? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, God, you were right. Holy right. crap. <laughs> so, Alan Menken won Best Original Song for A Whole New World from Aladdin and won a Razzie for a hard time, hard, hard, High Times Hard Time from Newsies in 1993. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's so f that's so funny that that's probably why we know the name is because on batman we always talk about news yeah everything comes back to particularly now we're going to cross over into the nolan movies it's like oh christ it's gonna yeah, be like yeah. a wave of news he's coming out of that By the way, oh my god brian heglin was the next person and he actually um won for best animated screenplay for la confidential and won in worst screenplay for the postman so, oh. oh he did the postman <laughs> oh crap okay <laughs> you know all right. All right. So that's that. <laughs> that's that. And you are down to your 50 50 and your phone a friend. Okay. Cool. Life. So for 250,000 Bitcoin dollars, my, my slides are all messed up, which comes to the grand total of uh, $2.50 here. Slides are all messed up. 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 I will do this question style because the slides are all messed up, and I'll give John this one because I something messed up here. It was who won? We just gave him a quarter of a million Bitcoin dollars. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'll who be won? honest. I I did think it was Ken Shamrock, but I. <laughs> See, I'm I, not I totally thought it was Ken Shamrock too, John. Yeah. <laughs> no, I genuinely <laughs> thought it might be Ken Shamrock. Let me read the question. People don't know what's going on. Okay. Who won the NWA championship in the first weekly NWA TNA pay per view? I actually just recently watched this. Why I wrote it down. <laughs> I just recently watched this. Uh, and who are the, who the other names? Ken Shamrock, Jeff Jarrett, Ron the Truth Killings, and AJ Styles. And well, to me, as a, as a, a fan, you know, it was between Shamrock and Jarrett. Those other two, there's no chance it was them. Correct. Right. And Shamrock is the winner here. It was number one. And and actually, Ron the Truth Killings was the second one. Jarrett did not want to ask her Ron the Truth Killings. Well, that's the thing. People always say, you know, oh, Jarrett made it all about himself. And he did sometimes. He did. But he didn't right away. So that, he, is, he about that. that is my fault on the board. <laughs> so I'll take it. <laughs> all right. Let me um, fix something here. Because I got to fix it. I don't know why this happened. Let me fix this really fast. Yeah, on a second. Let me fix the board. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what happened there. This will take me one second to fix. Did I miss something? I wasn't looking at the screen. You went, oh. <laughs> uh, 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 um, Give me a second here. I can fix this problem. I don't know how to freeze this without giving it away. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Um, there we go. John, you are very talented and... <laughs> lucky? <laughs> Just Very the lucky. There, John. I'm fixing it so we can not reveal the next question without actually having Mr. Um, Sal here read it properly. So, okay, a okay. second to catch up here because this is my fault. I don't know what How happened there. Dare you. you see what hey, happened? Glitch. The timer was wrong, and that's what happened. There. All right, ah. there you go, Sal. Now we're on the next one. Okay. Now we're two questions away from the million. Keep that in mind. You still have your 50-50, and you still have your phone a friend. Who's in the room? So keep that in mind. Who's in the room? Because we don't want to pay for any long distance calls. <laughs> no. <laughs> you should be phoning the UK. I pay for, for, a, <laughs> for a half a million Bitcoin dollars. Well, I hope this is a fuck up. Or, or, or $10 Canadian. <laughs> who, $10 was Canadian. The, who was the first? It did it again. It did it again. 
Oh, oh, okay. So, John, okay. you're talented. Ignore and... that answer and do the question, please, though. I gen- I haven't looked at the screen. I'm Don't lo- look at like... the screen, John. Don't look at the screen, John. Okay. No, but now Who if I get the... it right, you're going to think I've looked at the screen. I believe you. I believe you, John. I don't believe Scott. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first WCW wrestler to appear on WWF television and won the Hardcore Championship to officially begin the Invasion storyline? Was it Lance Storm, Booker T, Mike Awesome, or Diamond Dallas Page? And keep okay. mind, you have your corner print in the room. Uh, he wants to come on the show. I think mm. I do know this, and you're going to think I'm cheating. Right, it's not I Booker T. You. There's absolutely no way it's Booker T. I don't recall him being the hardcore champion, or at least not, not um, in a big way. <laughs> DDP, I don't remember him coming in until he was stalking The Undertaker's wife. Uh, I believe Storm, you're correct. Yeah, Lance Storm did win the hardcore title. But was it first? But was it first? And, I and don't remember, think it was first. He, he's from Alberta, Canada. Hmm. I do. Right, I'm leaning towards Mike Awesome because I know he won the title, the hardcore title. I know he was a part of the invasion because they couldn't get the big names because they all decided to be lazy. Um, no offense to Mike Awesome, he was a big name back in the day. Um, let me reason it. Let me reason it. It's one of those two. It's definitely not Booker or DDP. Lance Storm. I think he was he part of the invasion to begin with. I think he was. Trust your gut, John. Trust your gut. I mean, my gut is saying Mike Awesome because I know he won the title. I know he was there from the beginning, ish. And I know it's the kind of person WWF uh, would bury in the Invasion storyline because they didn't give a (laughs) goddamn crap about anyone who wasn't in the NWO. So, (coughs) Mike Awesome. I think Lance Storm won it later. Final answer? Yes. Look at the screen now. You may look at your screen. Oh, hang on. Let me click. I clicked off it. One sec. Hey! Yeah. Yay! My reasoning worked, especially because I read an article yesterday all about DDP's stalking thing. <laughs> Why? Why did that even come up? All right. I think it was like Bruce Pritchard was saying, like, yeah, it's a piece of crap storyline. But... <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is set up right. John, for the, for the sanity, for my own sanity, can you minimize your screen in case it's fucked up again? <laughs> Just for my own sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I'll uh, let me minimize. This is the last thing I added, and Mandy does want to jump on as your bonus friend. So just like, yeah, well, um, we're gonna need her. <laughs> there we go. I've, mi- I've minimized it. I can't see. It. Okay, it, it, it fucked up again. So there you go. Oh my god. So final question: You have two lifelines. You have your fifty-fifty and your phone of friends. Need them. This is for all the marbles for one million Bitcoin dollars. Okay. Oddly, farther and which God ever got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Which United States president of of the four that I'm going to give you is right-handed? Oh, so three it. are going to be lefties. One will be a righty. What's wrong with your country that they're all left-handed? <laughs> Not all. What is the answer- damn thing wrong with them? Your answers are <laughs> James Garfield. Barack Obama, Ronald Reagan, Jimmy Carter. Which one was right-handed? The other three were left-handed. I have no idea. Right. Um, I'm gonna take you, you do have two lifelines. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm planning now, like, should I use the 50-50 then the phone a friend? It that would be easier. Be a, that might be a good idea. I'm going to do that. 50-50 first. Okay. Go for it. So... 50-50 has eliminated Barack Obama and Ronald Reagan. So you're left with left. James Garfield and Jimmy Carter. One I is lefty, one is righty. I don't know either one of these people. That's the funniest part. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, no, friend. I'm going to use the lifeline anyway, because this is my last question, right? So yes. Yes. I'm going to so. use I'm going to use the phone of friend. Like what any idea whatsoever. Okay. Let me unplug my head for that. And we will do this. Is it Nia Jax? It is. Oh, my hole. <laughs> <laughs> Who's 
So I'd like to know, because the game board is all messed up, Mandy is not in front of me and does not see the answer. So here you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Do you How have is your any... hold, Naya? <laughs> <laughs> Better than Reginald. Can we not oh. talk about my hole, please? My father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Naya. We won't talk I about that. Know the you... question. I didn't even hear the question. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so here we go. So Johnny's a little help. He is at the final question. One million Bitcoin dollars. He has used his 50, Canadian. He has 50. He has used his 50-50. You are his final lifeline. The question is, which United States president listed is right-handed? And after the 50-50, his two choices are James Garfield and Jimmy Carter. One is a lefty. One is a righty. Which one is right-handed. Uh, no pressure, Naya. Um, Naya is going to go with Jimmy Carter being the right-handed. Okay. You believe that Jimmy Carter is right-handed? Yes, I believe that. Do you have any uh, explanation as to why you came with that answer? Um, I feel like he's a more basic president. <laughs> I don't. I feel like there's nothing. Okay. Are okay. You sure. Okay. Yeah. So John. Left-handed people kind of. Um, Nia Jackson said, J "Jimmy Carter is the right-handed president." Okay. Okay. Now it's so all I, on you. Bet my whole on. And there she's right. going to bet her whole on it. That's amazing. Oh, oh, you bet your whole. Okay, Nia. You know the the budget version of Nyla Rose. I um, <laughs> I am. You know what? I have only heard of Jimmy Carter because, you know, we don't learn. Although I'm an amateur historian, in the UK we don't learn a lot about America. Probably because of the whole, you know, probably for the better. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, in many ways. Definitely for the better. Yeah. A lot about America in America. <laughs> so I've heard of Jimmy Carter. And you're saying Jimmy Carter. Is there any point, like in the real uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Is there any point in me walking away? Do I get anything? Uh, you will get. Uh, I will. I will mail you a postcard with uh, 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 my signature on it. How about that? <laughs> I mean, that as, is a, as a parting gift. Doesn't he get the home version of the show, John? <laughs> I, I just want to clarify. I, I'm, just, I'm not just saying this because I married her. She's a shitload smarter than I am, so I would trust her on any question I ask her. So, okay, <laughs> I trust. I, I trust, and I and that's the only one I know. So, is Jimmy Carter your final answer? Right. So, there's no point in me walking away. I might as well take a take a punt. Okay. Well, gonna... you you would you would dip down to the thirty two thousand mark. But am I actually getting anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will get Canadian. free advertisement on our show for a month. Okay. Which is worth a million dollars. Okay. Despite that, I'm going to trust. Okay. Don't forget about the appreciation. Oh, wait. Sorry. I thought we were talking about Blake. <laughs> oh. oh. I would. I would. I, I will trust you, you. And the fact that it's the. Okay. I will. I'll trust you. And it's the only one I've heard of. The other one is a cat. So <laughs> I'm saying Jimmy Carter is smarter. Simpsons reference for the people. <laughs> you may turn on your screen or whatever I'll you did. Right, or back to my... let, me, let me get it back in one sec. Oh, God damn it. Yes. Thank you, phone friend. Thank you, Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it only took two tries, but we have our first Bitcoin millionaire. Woo! Boop, boop, boop. That was pure luck, I'll be honest. So, okay. I, some of I those were guesses. Off. I want to say something, first of all. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Um, first of all, James Garfield is only on here because, number one, he's left-handed. And number two, 
me and Sal grew up in Garfield, New Jersey, and it's named after Dave Garfield. That's the first. Oh, thing. so he is a real person. He is a real president. <laughs> he is a real president. Real president. Um, for clarification's sake, the answer obviously is Jimmy Carter. Sal, by the way, thought of this question and sent me this list. Our left-handed presidents are Barack Obama, James Garfield, Herbert Hoover, Harry Truman, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, George H. W. Bush, and Bill Clinton. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. This explains a lot about your country. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm joking about this. I, I, I'm joking about this, and I have no idea what our uh, prime minister's, uh, you know, uh, hand of preference is. And most of our prime ministers are pieces yeah, of you trash. As not want to know what they put their hands well, into. Uh, so. uh, <laughs> would you say that they're even rubbish? I would say they are rubbish. They are indeed. <laughs> Especially the current one with his stupid hair. Says me with no 